man. I wish I had another guitar to play. What is this? Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is Glare's GTL Telecaster Thin Line. So what is it? Well, it's pretty basic spec. Base wood body, thin line cutout. We got a maple neck with a rosewood fretboard. Pretty generic tuning machines. They work fine. We've got a humbucker in the neck, which is pretty cool. We got a single coil in the bridge, which it's fine. Three-way selector switch, volume, and a tone. Now, let's get into this guitar. When I got this guitar, I was pretty excited. This is a good looking guitar out of the box. Look at that. This is what they call their burly wood. It's their natural finish. Now, it comes in three other finishes. You can get this in red, which is kind of like a wine red, see-through. A blue, and you can also get it in a vintage yellow, what they call yellow. Looks more like a vintage Telecaster to me. That's kind of where my enthusiasm for this guitar stopped after I pulled it out of the box. This guitar was unplayable. The action was this high. It was a mile off the fretboard. The fret ends were all sharp. It needed a full, full fret job. The nut was cut so bad that it was sticking this far out of the fretboard. There's also a few other things, but what I did is I set it all up. I put brand new Diodario strings on it because the strings it came with were terrible. I also went through the whole guitar, adjusted the truss rod, intonated it, checked all the electronics, made sure everything else was good on it before I plugged it into an amp. So what are my impressions after all that? Not great. It was a lot of work for a $110 guitar. Yeah, that's right, these are 110 bucks new. And what you're really getting for $110 is this really pretty body, which underneath everything isn't that great. There's finish runs. I don't know if you can see them on the back. The neck pocket was really bad. There's cracking in the finish. There's burns where they've sanded it too far. But here's the thing. For $110, do you really care if you can play it? Yes and no. If you're giving this to somebody for their first guitar, it's not going to be a good experience for them. And that's sad to me. Because we want them to enjoy playing. We don't want them to be frustrated and upset with their first guitar. So, with that said, should you buy this? Yes and no. If you can do setup work and you know how to work on a guitar, yeah, absolutely buy this. Turn it into a cool mod platform. You already have a humbucker here. You can do so many things with this setup. It looks pretty good. I mean, you can change the tuners out. They're not great. If you don't know what you're doing and you've never done setup work on a guitar, I don't think this is the option you should take. I think you should go a little more money. You should get something either used that's already been set up very well, or you should get something from a little little better price range in the $250, $300 range that's going to come from the factory pretty much set up and it's going to be in good shape. Otherwise, it's a great guitar. It's fun to play, especially now, and it sounds pretty good. I'm going to run this through my Roland JC77 that's down here on the floor. I'm going to leave it on a clean sound. I'm going to see what it sounds like. It's my middle position. So let's go to the neck. sounding guitar. I think the best sound is out of that uh, that next position. I did, I, just a disclaimer, I did re 
rewire the center position because it sounded real quacky, so now it's a little more... <laughs> It's pretty good, especially for the money. You can't really go wrong. So, final thoughts on the Glary GTL Telly. It's not a bad guitar for $110, especially if you can do some work yourself to it. It's a perfect mod platform, especially with the humbucker up here. It's also a lot of fun to play when it's set up right. And it does sound pretty good. This is one of the better sounding cheap humbuckers I've ever heard. And it's hot. It's about 11k ohms. So if you want one of these, and you know what you're doing with one, yeah, grab one. Scoop it up. Or if you're buying one for a child or something, and you have a bunch of other guitars and you know what you're doing, grab one. They're a great guitar. It's $110. If you lose it, get stolen, broken, you're not out a lot of money. And that's a good thing anymore. Guitars are getting more and more expensive. So, yeah, for the money, this is a really great guitar. If you know what you're doing with the guitar. But all in all, good job. Clary, this is not a bad guitar, and I thoroughly will enjoy it for a long time. Thanks, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Also, check out more the channel for more videos. I'll be posting up some on some of the guitars you've probably never seen. Also, some other guitars that are cheap that are really good. So, like and subscribe and check me out.